Hello and welcome to an All The Mods 8 tutorial with your boy Corny Bread Man. Today I'm going to explain to you all how to build a create fuel farm out of a tree farm. This farm will produce food, logs, and charcoal. Everything in this chest is what you're going to need. Make sure to grab some extra shafts and filters. So the farm we're making today is 17 blocks wide or an 8 block radius. But real quick, only a small portion of people watching are subscribers. If you don't want to miss any content, please think about subscribing. It's completely free. Thanks. Okay, and once you grab everything out of the chest, we're going to go over and assuming you have power to the second block up, we're going to place our clutch and then we're going to place our mechanical bearing. We're going to go to the bottom. We're going to run redstone from the clutch right to the ninth block or wherever you want your lever to be so we're going to power that go ahead and put your super glue in your offhand and we're going to go ahead and place our radial chassis and when you place it it's super gluing it together so at this point you're going to go turn on your machine and see which direction it is going so it's going this direction. Notice how slow it's going. You want to make sure that your farm's going quite slow. The quicker it is, the more it seems to lag and glitch. So it's going counterclockwise. So we need our saws to be pointing this direction. And whatever you point at is what you're gluing. So we're not going to want to glue it to the ground. Perfect. Whole bottom row is going to be saws. So this block is whatever you would like it to be i'm just using the andesite casings because i think it looks good with the machine so you're going to go out six blocks place your chest place your portable storage interface once you're on top of the radial chassis you're going to go ahead and place your deployers down facing down i'm shifting so they face away from me all right so out of the chest you should have 10 filters you should have 10 filters so you're going to take eight of your filters and you're going to make them into whatever sapling you're going to run on your farm. I'm doing oak saplings, so they're set to oak. And all you do is you right click in the air and if you do not have your sapling, you can just drag, like click, hold and drag. And then you don't need, you don't need it. And then make sure it's on allow list and check. Okay, you're going to find the filter on the front of the deployers and you're going to place them. All right. Always make sure to have some temporary blocks on you. We're going to go out four blocks from the portable storage interface. Then you're going to break three of them and you're going to place your portable storage interface on that fourth block. That is going to give it the correct amount of distance for it to connect. Okay, we're going to go ahead and place down our chest, place it adjacent to your portable storage interface. Put a hopper going into it. Go ahead and dig yourself a straight line, 10 blocks, and place a shaft at each end. You can use your wrench to change the orientation and place one of your belts. Go ahead and place your andesite funnel on the other side of this chest. Place your tunnel, your brass tunnel. It has to be brass so you can sort the filter and it has to be two blocks away from the chest and then break two blocks next to it. You're going to place two shafts and put a belt. Take two of your filters. One is going to be the log that you're doing. I use oak because you get all of these foods as well these three currants apples and acorns and all the mods eight so you're going to make two filters one is going to be the sapling log and everything that comes off and then the other one is going to be just the wood so it will make charcoal make sure it's on the allow list and you're going to place the one that has everything on the side one and then the longer one is going to have just the wood Okay, go ahead and break yourself a three by five right at the end of your 10 long belt. This is where you're going to put your encased chain drives. And then right in front of that, your encased fans. This is just to create motor in the back. 
just run your power to the back of one of these encased chain drives. You're gonna go ahead and place all your lava, all five buckets, and then I like to put trap doors on the top. It just assures that you do not fall in and light yourself on fire. Go ahead and dig four blocks going either direction, it doesn't really matter, and place a shaft right here, right here, and right here. You're going to use your create wrench to fashion them like this, and then place your other one right here, like that. We're going to go ahead and connect them with mechanical belts. Just like that. So you're going to take your shaft and place it right here, right after the tunnel. And you're going to connect it with a gearbox. And then you're going to run power up from the bottom and put a vertical. And it should look something like that. It's going to be pulling everything out of the chest and then it's going to filter it. You're going to place your chest where everything's going to end up right here. Where all your food, your wood, and your coal is going to end up. And then you're going to come down here. We got to finish up connecting up these belts. You're going to go ahead and break an L-shaped pattern just like this. Where you're going to connect gearboxes just like that. And you're going to place a shaft, the third from the end and connect a gearbox. Again, I apologize about the number of shafts that I said, because I was definitely wrong. Take your two andesite funnels and place them on your chest. As of now, everything should be good. Turn it on and let it leave to at least quarter to where it snaps, and then go ahead and place your saplings in the chest and turn it on. And like always, if you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe. I do read comments, so if you have any ideas or questions, leave them down below. Thank you.